Hello and welcome to the Gourmet Code. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to create a classic delicious and crispy fish and chips that is loved by people all over the world. So, let's get started. Step 1. Prepare the fish. Firstly, let's start with preparing the fish. You'll need fresh fillets of cod or haddock, or any other firm white fish. Pat them dry with paper towels to ensure the batter that will be prepared later will stick. Cut the fillets into portions that are easy to handle and season them with salt and pepper to taste. Step 2. Prepare the batter. The key to a perfectly crispy batter is to use cold ingredients. In a bowl, whisk together 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of salt, and 1 cup of cold beer or sparkling water. The carbonation in the beer or sparkling water will create air pockets in the batter, resulting in a light and crispy texture. Step 3. Coat the fish. Now it's time to coat the fish in the batter. Dip each fillet into the batter and make sure it's evenly coated. Let any excess batter drip off before carefully placing the fillets into hot oil that has been preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. Step 4. Cook the fish. Cook the fish in batches for 4 to 5 minutes or until golden brown and crispy on the outside. Use a slotted spoon to transfer the fish onto a wire rack to drain off any excess oil. Step 5. Prepare the chips. While the fish is cooking, let's prepare the chips. Cut potatoes into thick slices and soak them in cold water for at least 30 minutes to remove excess starch. Drain and pat them dry with paper towels. Step 6. Cook the chips. Heat oil in a deep fryer or a heavy bottom pot to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 165 degrees Celsius. Carefully add the chips to the hot oil and cook for 5 to 7 minutes or until they are just starting to brown. Remove them from the oil and place them on a wire rack to drain. Step 7. Crank up the heat. Turn up the heat of the oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. Once heated, return the chips to the oil and cook for another 2 to 3 minutes or until golden brown and crispy. Remove the chips from the oil and let them drain on a wire rack for a second time. Step 8. Serve and enjoy. Serve the fish and chips hot with a side of tartar sauce, coleslaw, or malt vinegar. And there you have it, perfectly crispy fish and chips that are sure to impress. Remember to use cold ingredients for the batter and to cook the chips in two stages for that perfect texture. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy this recipe and give it a try at home. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel for more recipes and cooking tips. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.